Spider-Man fans? Thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Chris. It's always a spectacular day when we get to talk about our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but specifically what we're going to be diving into here today with Spider-Man No Way Home is we have fans coming in contact with Tobey Maguire, getting a nice little picture, and even them asking him straight up, bro, is you in Spider-Man or not? That along with other minor details involved in Spider-Man No Way Home and us continuing to speculate when is we getting this damn trailer. So be sure you guys leave me your thoughts down below with the news we discuss here with Spider-Man No Way Home. Why do you think Tobey Maguire is now suddenly being spotted so much by fans like the guy's been famous for so long and I feel like we barely have any photos of him with fans. When do you think this trailer is going to be headed our way? But don't be forgetting to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, so as we're diving into Spider-Man news here, I gotta do a little house cleaning right here since this is Marvel related and most of y'all be clicking on the Spider-Man videos and I want as many people as possible to see this. I was basically Eddie Brock from Spider-Man 3 and humiliated. You guys might have seen I'm testing out the new YouTube short feature where it's YouTube's attempt to be TikTok and whatnot and try doing little short-term videos just for like quick tiny news out there. I thought it could be a cool little tool for me to use for when I get like new collectibles or new Funko Pops I could show that off to you guys or really tiny minuscule news that I don't think warrants a full video or even me mentioning it on side flick. And one of the things that was happening in the Marvel sphere was that fans noticed that Marvel went ahead and edited and altered the ending for WandaVision. Here's a side-by-side -side of it but the biggest thing that was coming out of it there was this weird silhouette coming out and I made a whole little YouTube short claiming oh could that be Doctor Strange? Is that White Vision? Why would Marvel go ahead and edit this shot and then purposely change it for one that has a mistake? And well, now we know why it happened. Here you go. If you haven't heard, Disney recently edited the after credit scene of the last episode of WandaVision. They added a lot of trees and removed this duck. But what people are mainly focused on is this thing coming down the hill. There's a lot of speculation, but here's proof that it's literally an editing mistake. What happened is someone noticed that this light shining through this window was distracting, so someone had to remove it. I don't know exactly what tool they used, but for this example, I'm just gonna use After Effects' Content Aware Filler. I just mask out this area, roughly track it, and now it's gone. But what they forgot to do is remove it in the previous frames. Look, it perfectly lines up. That's literally all it is. I hope I clear this up before people make any dumb guesses like that looks like Doctor Strange or heck it could even be Vision. Oh my God. So welcome to the 3C funeral. I just got murdered. I thought that was pretty funny and I'm always willing to admit when I'm wrong with you guys. But the reason I say this could connect to Spider-Man No Way Home and give us some insight to why we haven't seen this trailer, I mean Spider-Man just barely finished filming. They wrapped up just only weeks ago and here it was very much reported that the ending of WandaVision had to be changed, moved around, that they were looking to do a whole nother episode that did involve Doctor Strange, even that bunny turning into a demon. Like all this stuff was supposed to happen in WandaVision but due to time constraints and them just trying to quickly rush out the episodes on Disney Plus, Marvel still decided to go back and try and fix up those visual effects, added things that they wanted to, and at the end of the day, they left another damn error in there. So if they had to rush that out, and even then months later, they still were tweaking some visual effects and changing animations, I think it shed some light on why this trailer isn't being rushed out in time for Black Widow to be released, and instead will just be later in the year, some people thinking late July, early fall. But let's be honest with ourselves, if Marvel wanted to release the trailer for Spider- Spider-Man No Way Home like a month or even two weeks before it comes out. As long as they show my boy Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in the trailer, they're gonna sell a million bajillion tickets no matter what. But speaking of my boy Tobey Maguire, let's move on to the sightings that we have been seeing for fans. Now, the reason I bring up that this is kind of like a weird big deal is because literally, we have rarely seen photos of Tobey Maguire taking pictures with fans. And there's a lot of rumors and speculation that Tobey Maguire isn't the nicest person to meet in person. And that's all based off this one viral video of him. Get the fuck out of the way! I can't see! There are cars there, motherfucker! Get out of the way! But I never thought he was a jerk for that. People are literally flashing cameras in his face while he's trying to drive. That would annoy the hell out of me. But literally in the span of like two weeks, there have been nonstop photos of Tobey Maguire running into people, I think, in New York City. First, we had this one with a fan who took a picture next to Tobey Maguire. I'm not sure why the face is blurred out. Here's the photo without his face being blurred out. But that's him with Tobey Maguire, and he sent this to a friend who then shared it with us saying, hey, he was just walking Washington Square in New York. His friend replying, damn, you are so lucky.
monkey bro what did he told you he replies with saying he was just walking in the park he asked me where i'm from and about weather a bit his friend replying no way home obviously asking if he said anything about spider-man 3 and then he replied with i didn't ask about no way home but i asked him about crossovers of spiders he said he can't say anything which of course everybody watching these videos if we ran into andrew garfield tommy mcguire tom holland we would all somehow slightly throw into conversation oh, i'm a big fan i love your stuff that movie you did was great what about spider-man no way home punk and we would be staring at every little move they made thinking is he lying is he telling me the truth but him saying straight up I can't say anything. I feel like that's all we need to know about whether he's in this movie or not. If he's not involved, why wouldn't he be able to say anything? Or why wouldn't he just say straight up, Oh no man, I'm not part of that movie, but it's nice meeting you. Weather's great. Then in a few days, we had another photo with another fan who ran into Tobey Maguire. Looks like Tobey Maguire is just loving to take walks in New York, and he's just asking to be seen by people. Because we had this person, Calderas underscore Portugal, take a photo with him, real nice and happy. And in the description and comments of this Instagram, post he goes ahead and has it all seriousness he's gonna be in the movie i know that for a fact he's gonna do another movie then that's it that's where a lot of people were going crazy about the way the guy phrased that saying that he really believes that he's gonna be in the movie and then another movie when looking at this guy's profile he is a foreigner english might be his second language so there could be a little loss in translation here of course the civilian would not know how many movies toby mcguire would be involved him but the more interesting stuff came in the comment section when people started asking him about this where he says what was his expression when you asked about spider-man no way home he winked at me and smiled can you imagine freaking a bully mcguire winking and smiling at you them pants are coming off right then and Obviously, there's no way to know if these guys are telling the truth, if these interactions are real, but what do they have to gain or lose from? Especially the second guy, he set his Instagram account to private, so he's not doing this for the clout to go get a bunch of followers or to go get a bunch of people. But in true Spider-Man No Way Home fashion, we have a small update to this. Literally moments ago, before I uploaded this video to you guys, which is why it's a little later in the day, he has gone ahead and deleted the post from his Instagram, and somebody even reached out to him him to ask why and his response was i don't know it was just gone from my profile making us feel like okay so did you then do this for attention and live or did kevin fagoli marvel's sharpshooting sniper get to you and ask you to take it down i hate getting my hopes up and getting super excited about i don't freaking hate that i love doing this okay but you gotta admit we are all gonna be so sad if they don't end up showing up in the movie and i still want to make it clear if they don't end up in there andrew or toby mcguire I'm still probably going to end up liking this Spider-Man movie. Even the bad Spider-Man movies, I still find enjoyment from. I still re-watch. But you got to admit, all these months, every coincidence, every clue, every time some new hint drops that these guys are part of the movie, you can't ignore all of it. Even more when it just got announced that Tobey Maguire has signed on to his first movie in seven years. This guy was literally retired from acting, was chilling back, was thinking nothing, gets involved with Spider-Man No Way Home, gets the bug to want to act again, and is now going to show up in a brand new movie with director Damien Chazelle, who is a director I really respect, made Whiplash and La La Land, two movies I really enjoy. I think now that we're done with the Keanu Reeves renaissance of him coming back and being in a whole bunch of movies... It's time for the Tobey Maguire renaissance and all the new memes to come with it. But that is all the movie news we currently have going on right now concerning Spider-Man No Way Home. I want to hear from you guys out there down below. What do you make of all these fans coming in contact with Tobey Maguire and his response to being part of Spider-Man No Way Home? Do you believe these guys? Do you think there's another explanation out there? When do you think the trailer is coming? Really curious to hear from you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films and on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, my name's Chris. Take care.